Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Laura and today we're going to continue to talk about contrast and building a solo. We will be referring to a previous video on this, so if you're ever listening to me talk and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, it might be in that video. It's linked in the description. <music> makes a good dancer? I would argue it's probably a lot of similar things as to what makes a good musician. So what makes a good musician? Do they pick really good notes? Yes, they do. Do they time them really beautifully? Do they have a great sense of swing? Yes, they do. All that's important. But something else they do that I think is really special and that as dancers we don't look at as often is they try to shape those notes. If you listen to Johnny Hodges play something that's written down that everybody else is playing the exact same timing and the exact same note, you can tell that that player is Johnny Hodges because he shapes it so beautifully. There's a scoop into it. He uses his vibrato in a very particular way. Johnny Hodges. Likewise, if you have a whole bunch of dancers dancing a choreography, you should be able to tell, oh, that person has this style and that person has this style even if we're all dancing the same thing. Now, how to develop your own style? That is a lifelong journey and it's very personal to you. But let's talk about how to shape our movement. We're gonna start with a really simple, basic Charleston and a leg swoop. And then let's talk about where that leg swoop comes from. Does it come from your standing leg? Do you make it really small? Do you make it really big? Does it come from your hips? Does it come from your shoulders? Does it come from your middle? Does it come from your head? Does it come from your knees? Does it come from your arms? Can you let that motion take you someplace new? Now take those same ideas and put them in a lock turn. with just the turn part. Where does the movement itself come from? I think being able to see that journey gives a movement such maturity and makes me feel so compelled to look at it. Let's pause so I can talk to you about Patreon. Thank you, people of Patreon, for helping to make this video free for everybody in the world, including people like you. It's a voluntary subscription, and if you wanna join them, links in the description. Next up, let's work in a fancy thing. Now, if you listen to a lot of jazz, you might notice that certain musicians seem to self-plagiarize. You might recognize certain segments in multiple different solos, even though the solo itself is not the same. For me, Illinois Jacquette is a really great example of this. Now, if you don't know him, he is stupid talented. He did the famous flying home solo when he was just 19. He helped popularize that honkin' saxophone sound so good. And he plays a lot of his own ideas. So let's learn a flash move that we can do together. This is a variation on a chase that I made up. You take the shape of a chase, and then you do it to the rhythm of a triplet. Once you have that triplet, put a turn on the end. Bam, flash move, what a conclusion. If you don't know the basic chase, video in the description. All right, you've practiced it, you're good at it, now let's stick it at the end of the phrase. And note, these great musicians didn't always end the phrase the same way. I'm just doing this as a drill for us. Okay, so let's start by using our three moves, kicks, multiple kicks and kickball changes. And then on that fourth eight count, bam, flash move. Now this might be a little tricky because sometimes in the heat of the moment, I forget where I am, what I'm doing, and any move that I know at all. But these are part of the muscles that we need to build up.
idea on a different move, like maybe Tack Annie. <laughs> Now let that be a springboard into the rest of the jam. Now, open it up. Just do whatever. ways to add contrast and individuality to your dance, but hopefully this gives you a few fun things to think about. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you did, click like and subscribe for the algorithm. It's one of the best ways to support our channel. If you like the music we're dancing to, it's the Brooks Prumo Orchestra. You can find a link to buy it in the description. And if you want to help support the people and culture that invented this dance, I do too. 50% of the money that I get from this channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art. And the best way to learn how to do all this dance and stuff is to do it, y'all. You gotta dance. Real quick, look, my earring has condensation on it because it is so hot and sweaty here.